I believe that investing and how you manage your money should support whatever lifestyle you choose. And certainly if you want your investing choices to support your faith or religion and also your ethical beliefs, it's really important to find these products and services that back up your particular situation. So I'm going to break down today some of the options that are out there if you're looking for ethical choices, but also if you're looking for faith based investment choices. This video is of course absolutely for everyone, but in particular, if you're of a Muslim, if you're of some denominations of Christian and Jewish faith, you might actually find today's video extremely useful because I'll go into further detail about products that can support those faiths in particular. Investing is of course for absolutely everyone. There's obviously some criteria from particular religious backgrounds that you have to meet before you can invest, but I know today's video is going to have those really ethical products that perhaps you might, regardless of your background, want to consider for your portfolio. Hi there, welcome back to my channel today. My name is Jennifer from mamafurfur.com. I make videos all about personal finance, investing and success mindset. Today's video has been one of the most requested questions I have ever had on my channel. I love to read your comments down below on any video. Today's video is covering religion or faith-based investing in particular, but I'm also going to touch upon ethical-based investing. Well, if you're creating a portfolio that you really want to last you 20, 30, 40 years, there'll also be great choices for you and for the community as a whole. I think you're going to find today's video really useful. So I'll touch upon faith-based investing and ethical investing in general. With some particular religious backgrounds, there are actually religious laws that you must meet before you can actually invest or deposit your money. In those cases, it tends to be that you cannot invest, you cannot give your money to companies in any way that would be seen as going profits over people. Their focus would actually be the profits they generate rather than perhaps the value that they're giving to their investors. Similar to when you have any strong belief, there's also the background why you would want to pick certain companies over other ones because you want to actually support causes you believe in. So for example, any companies that actually go against your religious standing, then you wouldn't want to support. So if you're obviously picking individual funds, that might be easier to actually meet some of those religious or ethical beliefs that you have. You simply research a company and invest in those individual shares. Well, what if you're someone who wants to invest in index funds as we've talked about and other ways of investing in the stock market. And that's where you really need to know that the funds that you choose are supporting your ethical and your moral background, that those funds include companies that you actually want to support in the future. Certainly if you're of the Muslim faith as well, it's very important those companies aren't actually paying interest, perhaps have a large amount of debt themselves. So there are a couple of different code of conduct we would say on those companies that perhaps you would want to make sure were in your portfolio choice. Particularly with index funds, you might have not as much control over as you would like. It's all about finding funds that actually have those ethical and faith-based investing points taken into mind for you so that some of the hard work is actually taken away from you. What I will say is because products created with this particular genre in mind, there is a little bit more work needed to be done on a continual basis when selecting companies that maybe fit in that fund or that product. We know that we might have to pay higher charges and that's what you're going to find as I break these down for you. There will be a little bit higher charge than perhaps if you were choosing a bit more mainstream product. However, hopefully that balances off that you know these charges are allowing you to have the best selection of investments that suit you and your mindset. What I have found investigating these products is there is that same long-term growth as well. Because these companies are priding themselves on being ethical and standing for what they believe in, then it tends to be actually that it's been supported by the consumers actually buying their products or the industries that they're in. So let me touch upon a couple of options for you if you're of the Muslim faith in particular and of some denominations of Christian and Jewish faith. So for example, if you're wanting to make sure you're saving and investing according to the Muslim faith, there's a couple of particular index funds available for you if you want short-term investment before you're actually retiring. Now as with anything, investments should be 5-10 years minimum. So these would be your options if you want to start an investment portfolio right away that you could get access to whenever you like. 
week. So actually to buy index funds that support the Muslim faith in particular, I only found one company really in the UK and that was Fidelity that were offering indexes that I could buy. And it tended to be ETFs, which as you know, ETFs can be bought throughout the day, you can buy in the morning and sell at night. So if you want to know the difference between a normal traditional index fund and an ETF, I have a video that talks all about them there. So Fidelity offered two versions of iShares funds that you can actually use to support your investment portfolio. So the first one is the iShares Islamic ITS ETF fund. They have a world version of this fund and a UK specific. So within that fund, it's actually 23 developed markets that make up that index fund that they track. And it also has companies that also match the ethical background that would allow you to adhere to the Muslim faith. That means they won't support causes that are to do with alcohol or tobacco and also keeping in accordance with the lack of interest and bad debt within their company. With those two funds in particular through Fidelity, as I've talked about, they're actually charging about 0.6% admin fee for that index to actually maintain it, which is quite high compared to other index funds if you were able to buy general funds, but because they're specially selecting the companies that are fitting very specific criteria, we're having to naturally pay more for that. Now with Fidelity, there is a couple of additional charges. You pay £10 for every trade that you make or you cash out. So certainly if you were looking to have long-term investments, I'd really recommend those funds that you're buying perhaps once a month at the most and then you're leaving and really not cashing out for 10 to 15 years. There's also admin charges of 0.35% for under 7.5k actually invested. A couple of extra charges, keep that as low as possible by perhaps using dollar cost averaging. So buying once a month or perhaps longer period of times so that you're only trading or buying on specific occasions. I would definitely say this is your long-term portfolio if you were using Fidelity because there is those extra charges. We also have the option of buying the Dow Jones UK Islamic Index. So similar way as the iShares, this is actually the selected specific companies within the UK that follow those particular criteria. So that would be your short-term investment options. You could use Fidelity to buy those indexes if you're looking to have an investment portfolio that one day could be a passive income source for you. If you are looking for retirement plans, the great thing is there's a lot more products out. A lot more companies are actually starting to take notice of particular religious-based decisions. So for example, if you were to use Pension B as your pension provider, you can open a private pension. They've actually created a very specific fund that you can invest in to meet your faith-based decisions. So this is really fantastic. This gives you a retirement option that you know is not taking away from any of your moral standpoints. The great thing as well, some of the banks are also introducing pensions that are based on faith. HSBC have a product out there. I really love Pension B though. I've obviously made a couple of videos about actually starting a pension with them. So if you fancy actually getting some money into your pension, £50 by transferring over another pension to them, I'm going to leave the link below. It's my refer a friend code. You can use that you, under no obligation, of course. Use that. You would get £50 in your pension and so would I. Obviously having that one fund specifically catered for religious background is fantastic and something that's quite unique. Only a couple of companies and a couple of banks offering it and I really love that fact. So in a similar way to faith-based investing, having companies that also have a great ethical standpoint is very important, I know, to a lot of people, regardless of the religious background, just as a whole wanting to do better for themselves and the community that they're part of. The great thing is that companies like Vanguard, who I actually use for my investment, ISA, are starting to introduce socially responsible indexes. These are index funds that you can buy just like any other index fund, but the companies must meet that social responsible criteria. They must be investing in the planet, must be not adding any environmental damage, they must be creating ethical working backgrounds for their employees, a whole range of criteria before they can be included in these SRI indexes, so social responsible indexes. So if, for example, you wanted an investment ISA with Vanguard as part of your investment portfolio, look for whatever is described as an SRI, social responsible index, and there you'd be able to quite easily find funds that are being managed with companies specifically with this ethical standpoint. There's global funds to choose from, there's even very specific industries. So it's definitely an area that is hugely expanding in recent years, it's a really exciting time. Like the faith-based investing though, be mindful because there's additional work in actually selecting the companies and ensuring the companies that you're investing in are constantly meeting that criteria, there is higher charges. Roughly between 0.5 to 0.8 I've found in the past. Don't 
don't let that put you off, of course. As long as it's not towards one, one and a half percent, at least we're keeping more money in our pockets when we're making those interests and that profit. But just be aware, it won't be the cheapest option for index funds, but however, it is backing up your mindset and making sure that the ethical responsibility that you're passionate about is also being supported by your investment choices. The great thing about the socially responsible index is a lot of companies are striving for that status now. It's very much something that isn't just a niche anymore, which is fantastic. So within those social responsible index, particularly the global one that I've seen available from Vanguard, it includes companies like Google, like Apple, like Microsoft. These huge companies that naturally would actually be in the S&P 500 or some of your top performing indexes anyway are still being included in the SRIs. It's really fantastic because you're not having to choose in any way second rate companies. This is very much the companies that you would want to be supporting that you know that are actually going to do well with your money long term as well. They've got that ethical background as well as actually making profits and returns that you can depend upon for your portfolio. If you're also looking for that social responsible element with your pension, of course, I would again recommend Pension B. They've got a fund that is for ethical investing. Also, a lot of other companies are starting to introduce this as well. I know that Vanguard as well are looking to put out a pension very soon that will offer SRIs that you can invest in. It'll be their full portfolio will be available there. So again, these options are very much coming our way within the next couple of months. So today's video was actually really exciting to cover. I really enjoyed investigating it for you. So in particular, if you're looking for faith-based investing, that is where perhaps you might only have a couple of products to choose from. The great thing though is you've got an investment immediate portfolio you can create through some companies, but you've also got greater pension choices as well, which is fantastic, particularly if your employer or your current pension is perhaps not meeting the religious standpoint that you would like. There's options like Pension B, HSBC and Fidelity that I've mentioned. If you're also really interested in that ethical investing, there is a lot of SRIs out there. Vanguard, for example, offer them. I particularly love Vanguard, low cost, they keep everything really easy. It's what I use with my money. Other investment companies are obviously out there as well, but looking for that SRI, socially responsible index, will be a way to ensure that those ethical standpoint that you support is being met by the companies that you want to actually support with your money. Then we're gonna really see a lot of products to do with faith-based investing and ethical investing as these are really strong considerations for a lot of people I know when they're wanting to invest their money they don't just want to throw it somewhere they want to actually put it to places that they support and want to encourage the great thing is investing really is for everyone it's not just the majority of people anymore these even very specific requirements that you feel great about and proud of to support are now being considered and allowing you options as well so don't let any background stop you from actually doing what you want with your money I've really enjoyed making today's video. It certainly opened my eyes to a lot of great funds that are out there and ways that I can support companies that I believe in. If you have enjoyed today's video, be sure to give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment if you've any other title suggestions or videos I could make. I love hearing your suggestions. Some really great ones have come out recent months I've made videos on. So please always leave me a comment to inspire me for the next one. There is tons of resources as well on mamafurfer.com all about investing, personal finance and success mindset. So hop over there, you'll find a ton of things like my book, like my e-course about budgeting, and also you'll find my autopilot money spreadsheet system if you're looking to budget, invest, pay off debt, get you on the right financial track. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.